right. Ideally, you're going to be doing this in the lab with a setup with real gas. Today we're pretending with fake gas. <clears throat> um, the first thing we're going to learn about is subculturing. And to subculture, you first start with a tube of bacteria. It comes to you um, already inoculated on the agar. And this whole slant, is it a slant? Um, the slant is just to give more room for the bacteria to grow. And it comes inoculated on the slant, and you want to get it from this tube into this tube. This one is uninoculated. You want to first check and see that there's nothing that's been growing on it, because sometimes contamination can happen. And um, you're going to use aseptic technique. Aseptic technique is you basically don't want to touch anything to the table, the floor, or anywhere else. We know that in classrooms a lot of times um, kids are putting their feet up on their desks and things like that, so you want to make sure that your desk, even though you think it's clean, it's not actually, um, it is going to be contaminated with something. So what you're going to do is, <clears throat> the best way to do this is pick up a tube and first practice by taking the tube, putting it in your pinky of your other hand, and unscrewing it, and screwing it back on, so that you know <clears throat> that you can do it aseptically. You don't want to take the tube, you think about taking it off, putting it on the table, but what have you just done if you do that? Then you've contaminated that cap of the tube. So, what you're going to do is, <clears throat> you're going to start with the broth, and make sure that you get a transfer pipette. Now, transfer pipettes come sterilely, wrapped individually, and they also come where they're in a big pack. You want the sterile ones so that no bacteria or anything have gotten on them, because <clears throat> each time you open it, it's going to be sterile. Then. All right. You're going to open it up. You want to open up from the end that has the bulb on it, because you don't want to open up this end, because if you've opened up the other end, what have you done? You've contaminated it. As long as it's in the sterile sleeve, it's okay. So, like, you can put it back in, and it's still going to be sterile. <clears throat> so, what you're going to do, take the bulb, and I'm not touching it to anything. You don't want to be, you don't want it out for a long time without um, the sheath basically on it. But you can open it up like this. Open up your broth, like I said, grabbing the top, twisting it. Now, <clears throat> once you open, have any open container, you're going to take and put it into a flame and just roll it for a second. That way it kills all the microorganisms that are on the mouth of the um, tube. <clears throat> so you're going to basically kill whatever contaminants are there. Then you're going to put the pipette down in the liquid. Bring it up to about a mil, which is the last... Um, gradation or the last little mark on the pipette. Then you want to flame actually again. Close it up. And you're going to take your tube that has the bacteria in it. <clears throat> Do the same thing here where you grab it with your other hand, put it into the flame to kill whatever is on the neck of the tube and then you're going to squeeze it down. You don't have to worry about it being very far into the tube. It can just be in the very top. Then you're going to flame it again, get rid of anything on the outside, and put it back, <clears throat> close it up for a second. Now you can get rid of this. It can be thrown away. <clears throat> now you have broth onto your culture. So it's not mixed into the culture yet, so the next thing you're going to do before you're ready to transfer it is you're going to take a sterile cotton swab, open it up again, always good to flame it. Then you take the swab and you go basically drag it up and down and all around the agar, and all that, remember, is got bacteria on it, or it could have yeast, <clears throat> molds, all kinds of things. And as you do that, you'll start to notice that the broth gets milky, 
which just means that now the broth has a lot of bacteria or whatever you want to subculture in it. Then you take that out and now your bacteria is on your swab. You're going to flame that, close it up, <clears throat> and now you've got your new tube. So this is your uninoculated tube. You're going to open it, flame it again, and now this bacteria is going into that tube. Be careful that you don't touch that bacteria to anything while you're waiting to open that second tube. So drag it up and down and all along. Make sure it's well um, swabbed. Close it up. Now this bacteria you need to throw in a biohazard bag or um, autoclave it. <clears throat> Some people um, stick it into bleach or um, alcohol. Some kind of disinfectant. And now you have your tube that's subcultured. The last thing you need to do is make sure that you um, say when you inoculated it, label it with an inoculation date and whatever organism that you um, have inoculated onto it. That's about it.